Good day everybody. Today I will be looking at a paper 3, uh, 2012 to be exact, EDP and past paper. And um, I'll be looking at question 1A today and question 1B in my next video. But before I start question 1A, I am going to remind you to subscribe, like, share and comment. Remember to watch the ads as well, guys. So question 1A states that using the information presented at the bottom of the page, a budget presentation is to be prepared for a conference being held in St. Vincent. Question 1A1 says you are to prepare the spreadsheet using landscape. So I split my screen so that we can read and do the activity at the same time. To do that, you will go into page layout. And then under page layout, you're going to look for orientation. When you click on the drop down arrow, you will select landscape since that is what they want it in. We will type the spreadsheet that is below, as it suggests that we should do, and then we will do the other questions as we go along. So we have some headings. We have three columns with information that we're going to type. And if you notice at the top here, it says font is merged and centered. So you're going to type budget for worship, and it's in caps, so you have to turn on your caps lock button. Then type budget for worship. How do you put this in merge and center? Or how do you merge and center this? You would type it then, block it. If you notice, it took up three cells. You are going to block those three cells with the information. And then under the home tab, you will click on the drop down arrow for alignment and you will see the merge and center button there. When you click on it, it will merge and center the information. Below that, the next topic heading rather would be number of participants. And notice participants is below number of part number of, right? And it is in the same column, cell rather. How do you get it in the same cell? You would hold down the Alt button and press Enter. Then type participants. We just need to widen the cell so that it is in two rows and not three. Then beside it, B2, you will type country. And beside country, C2, you will type airfare. And under airfare, you should have per person. And again, you're going to hold down the Alt key and press Enter and type per person. Below that, we should have 20, 20, 10, because it's striked out, so you would put 10, 5, and Two. All right. All right. So if you notice at the corner here, it says that you are to wrap text and center. We already wrapped the text. Now we're going to center it. So we're going to just click on the alignment tab and then click on center. We're going to do the same for country as well as airfare per person. All right. Let me continue to fill out the column with number of participants. So we have a Blank column there, then accommodation. Alt, enter to get 
per person under it. And then we're going to make the adjustments as well. And remember it said that we are to center it after we wrap it. So we're going to do that as well. Beside that, you will have number of days, number of alt, enter, and days. And beside that, we will have All right, so let me continue to fill out the spreadsheet. So under country, we should have Barbados, followed by Jamaica, followed by Trinidad, followed by Guyana, followed by St. Lucia, then Antigua. Did I miss a figure here? Yes. Uh, where I have 10, it should have been 20. One more 20 should go there, then 10, then 5, then 2. All right. Airfare per person, $400, followed by 5, 450, 450, followed by... 400 then 600 then 300 then 400 total should be in cell F13 so we're going to search for F13 and put total T T O T A L. All right, footer. All prices are quoted in US dollars, so that should go in the footer. We're going to do that shortly. Center all columns. All columns are centered already. Um, yes. So let us move to the next part of the question, which says that we are to bold and center all headings. So we're going to block all headings both the main heading and the subheadings and we're going to bold them so that's control b or oh, some some headings are here as well that we're going to bold as well control control b right that was one a2, now 1A3 says calculate each of the following and show in an appropriate cell in the spreadsheet. So you need to have total number of participants, total airfare and accommodation to be paid by each country. All right, so it says that when a3 that is says we're to calculate each of the following and show in an appropriate cell in the spreadsheet a total number of participants that can go in a9 so i'm going to insert a row here so that we have enough space i'm going to right click and select insert and in this space, which is right below the two, I'm going to calculate that. So if it wants the total number of participants, we're going to type equal, open bracket, sorry, equal sum, open bracket, and block the range that we need in that bracket, then close bracket and press enter. We could have used the other um, way, the other, the autosum uh, route, but 
once you know it you can type it so that's what I did just now so that's how we get it done the total number is 77 B says total airfare and accommodation to be paid by each country so we can put that in this column which is right beside airfare per person and we're going to call it total airfare and accommodation how do we calculate that now so I stopped a while ago to adjust my two split screens to have them shown a bit more also you will notice that the total I had before was removed because I needed to take it out for now and wait until I got there and by the way total overall was supposed to be there and not total so back to the question how do we calculate the total airfare and accommodation so that would be total airfare which is 20 times 400 plus accommodation which would be 150 times 20 all right so let us put in the formula so it's equal open bracket number of participants which is 20 times airfare per person which is four hundred dollars plus number of participants or oh, I should open my bucket there times accommodation per person which is 150 so I'm reading it that it's $150 per person for the four days that's how I'm reading it all right and I'll press enter and get my answer which is $11,000 and then I will just autofill it to the other countries and get my answer now the next question says that you are to calculate the total overall cost for airfare and accommodation and place in cell F13. All right. So F13 is right here. And to calculate that, you would sum all of the total airfare and accommodation that we just calculated. All right. So we're going to type equal sum open bracket and block that area that you're summing and our answer is $36,300 then the next question says that you're to save the spreadsheet as budget one so we're going to go to file save as desktop and we're going to save it as budget one save good then we were told that two additional participants have registered for the conference one from st vincent and one from belize the airfare from st vincent is three hundred dollars and from belize six hundred and twenty five dollars insert two additional rows in the spreadsheet to represent this information so that would go to the row where we have 77 so that row all right so we're going to insert two rows at row 9 so insert right click again and insert so we have one for St. Vincent, so we're going to put one, and then the country is St. Vincent, and it's $300, and there is also one for 
Belize, and that's for $625. So you can autofill a formula that we had done previously to the other two cells so that it would calculate it. Also notice the number of participants moved from 77 to 79 because we added two more. And we're now going to adjust the total overall cost as well to include the two calculations that we uh, calculations that we did. So it would be extended to D10 instead of stopping at D8, it would go up to D10 because we added two more and it would take us to D10. So when I press enter, it is now 37,225. All right. Then it says, save the updated spreadsheet as budget two. So we go to file, save as, desktop, and then we're going to save it as budget two. Save. All right. So one thing we had left out from the D, 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 the question was the footer, which says all prices are quoted in US dollars. But before I do that, I need to put the word total here for you. And total is what was supposed to be there, not total overall. Or it could be total overall, but looking at the spread the question paper, it has total there. So I think we should put back total there. All right, so we're going to go to file to put in the footer, go to file, print, then page, setup, then header, and then custom header. And we will type all prices are quoted in US. And then you would select, okay, when you have typed it, and I typed it in the left section. Then you would select, okay, I'm going to maximize my screen so that you can see it much better. So there you have it. All prices are quoted in US dollars and it's right in your footer section. All right, guys, thank you for sticking with me. I do hope you have learned something. And if you have any question, please put it in the comment section. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, share, comment, and watch the ads. Bye guys.